A cool thing about Synthesia is that you can translate and localize all of your AI avatar content in literally just a few clicks, and it will translate the audio, the text within the video, and also the subtitles. But what if the video you want isn't made within Synthesia? Can you still translate it? Let's say a YouTube video, a TikTok, or just some old talking head video that you've got lying around that you want in another language. Well, it's also very easy to do, and the best part about it is that it will make it sound like you're speaking in another language because the voice still sounds exactly like you. So with Synthesia, you can basically learn any language you want, and here's how to do it. So when you're in Synthesia, to translate your videos to another language, it's very easy. And by the way, I do want to mention that the links are going to be in the description down below. Now in Synthesia, all we have to do is go down into the left toolbar and we want to click on video dubbing. So we click video dubbing and now we've got this little pop-up that opens up. So as you can see, I can translate any video into 29 languages with the original voice. So no matter what language you pick, it's still going to sound like it was you talking. So to upload the video, all I'm going to do is click and it's going to open up Finder. I'm going to select the video that I want to translate. And this is a talking head TikTok that I've created and recorded. And I want to translate this from English to French. And now you'll notice that the title of the video is also important because if I click open, as you can see, now we've got the project name, we've got the original language, the number of speakers. So in my video, I'm the only one talking. And I highly recommend most of the time leaving on auto detect because the AI is very good at picking up different speakers because you can translate a video that has multiple speakers and have them not sound like the same person. But if you know exactly how many speakers, like let's say you've got two, you might as well just tell the AI that there's two. And then finally, you've got the language that you want to dub to. And so I want to dub it into French. That way my French speaking audience will understand my content. And I click generate. And now what happens is Synthesia takes your video and it starts generating it and translating it into French. And earlier I mentioned that the title of your video was important because it also translates the title for you. So as you can see, we've got which is harder in your opinion, fresh ideas, and then I don't see the rest of the title, but in French we've got qu'est-ce qui est plus difficile à votre avis, All right? translated into French. And so depending on this video, this can take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes, but with the magic of editing, we're gonna jump ahead. So as we can see, we've now got our videos and they've been translated. So we've got the French one on the right here and then the original. And as you can see, the title was translated. So first, let's just preview the original just so you get an idea. So if I click on play, which is harder in your opinion, coming up with fresh ideas consistently or making sure you edit everything on time. So as you can see, I'm talking in English, it's a talking head video. And now to see the French version, instead of actually going back with Synthesia's multilingual player, we've actually got this little language tag and I can just click on this and then switch to the French version. So if I had dubbed this into like 20 languages, I don't have tons of different projects. I can actually access them all from the same project, which is super, super cool. So here, if we press play. À votre avis, qu'est-ce qui est plus difficile? Trouver régulièrement de nouvelles idées ou s'assurer de tout monter à temps. Donc les so as you can see, I'm speaking in French and it sounds like me and I speak French in real life so I can assure you that that is correct and the cool thing is that it actually keeps the cadence of your delivery and on top of that it also gives us the closed captions so I can activate these right here so I can see the translation and also hear it. À votre avis, qu'est-ce qui est plus difficile? Trouver régulièrement de nouvelles idées ou s'assurer de tout monter à temps. And at the beginning of the video, I actually mentioned that Synthesia translates the text that is within your video project, but that is only if the video is made and the text is added within Synthesia. So if you were creating videos with Synthesia and you had titles that animated on screen, or you had specific listicles that appeared and they were written in English, when you use the translate feature to localize your videos into another language, Synthesia automatically translates that text as well, as long as it was added within Synthesia, which I don't think any other video platforms do. Now, if you have any questions about how to translate your AI into 29 different languages with Synthesia, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.